Hello everyone. How's everyone today? I hope everybody is doing great. This is the Dirt Road Farmer. And today uh, we are going to harvest uh, field 28 again. Uh, it's 234.86 acre. And this is a field that we did for a cash crop uh, two or three episodes ago uh, and we tried to use course play and course play didn't work out for us too good it just didn't want to play well so we're going to attempt it again I'm going to take you guys with me and uh, I think we're going to Instead of running these guys all completely right behind one another, we're going to start number one off and see what he's going to do, uh, where he's going to turn at the end of the field so that we know how uh, to set these other guys off. So let's, let's get them going and see what happens. All right, we're not going to fire these other guys off right off the bat. We're going to we're going to just wait and see where he's going to turn up here because he may compensate for this uh, corner taken out of the field. Well, I don't know, but we're going to find out. All right, we've got harvesters everywhere, but I think we've got it figured out, hopefully. So we'll just have to wait and see how it turns out, but I think, I think we finally got it figured out on our end anyway. So we'll just turn them loose and see what happens here. I'm still kind of interested in how they're going to work that little piece down there at the end. So we'll see. Well, I think they've got it figured out. They're running on their own anyway. They haven't crashed into one another. That's a big plus right there. So, I think what we're going to do with these soybeans, uh, because we're trying to get our animals in, soybeans is one of the food groups for hogs, pigs. So I think we'll, uh, we're going to save some of these. We're not going to sell them all. We're going to save some of these to feed uh, the pigs. So I've got, I had the plumbers come out and they're going to plumb all of the pens uh, that we didn't, we only had the chicken pen plumbed. So I've made arrangements with them to come out and run water to all of them so that we can start moving right along with our animals. So, exciting times coming. So anyway, we'll let these guys continue what they're doing. All right, I wanted to show you how brilliant course play is in figuring this stuff out. Look how how they figured this out. Isn't that something? That is great. That is just great. So, 
I think where I messed up before when I was programming them is I was going to have them do a, a headland pass and that's just not necessary on this field so I think that's where the problem was so anyway we'll let him they're running just fine we'll let him get back over on his track and they've not they've not missed a beat so looks like he's yep he's turning right up where he should be so yep they're they're doing great he'll have his field knocked out pretty quick a lot faster than using the AI workers so it's a lot easier also you don't have near as much running to do because they're all together they're running together so we'll just let them get on with it all right these guys are getting right across this field they haven't missed a lick yet doing real good so uh, I like I said before I think the problem was is I was going to try to take a headland off a headland pass because of that corner down there and course play already had it figured out they didn't need a headland pass so that's what happened before and this time they're showing me that they're smarter than me they wouldn't have to be very smart to be smarter than me but you know we'll we'll let that go well we're moving right along We're well over halfway done with this field. Uh, I would say three quarters of the way done. And these guys haven't missed a beat. Well, I think we've got it figured out now. So we'll see. I, I know it's a whole lot better than working with the AI workers because it's a lot easier on the grain cart. So, we'll let these guys get on with it. And I don't know if we'll attempt to get the next field or not. But we'll see. So, they're making short work out of this. Anyway, we'll let them get on with it. We'll just keep chasing the harvesters, keep them emptied out. All right, we're getting to the end of this field. Everything is looking great. The harvester that I'm emptying out now, this will be his last pass. So I'll have to uh, stop him at the end of the field and uh, I think we we may just go ahead and do the field right there beside us at the end there and then maybe if we get our truck he can haul after dark course we can harvest after dark too we've got lights on everything and we may even finish up in the dark but I think we will go ahead and uh, when I get this guy to the end of the field I'll I'll get him down there and we'll start getting the other field programmed in 
and uh, we'll see if we can get that harvested too. All right, this guy's making the final pass on this field. So I think we'll let him get down here to the end and then we'll take them over, uh, get them programmed in to do the other field, and we'll just carry on. As you know, FS-22 is coming out here in a couple of days. Uh, yes, I will be doing content on FS-22. But I will also be doing content on FS-19. Uh, there's just something about having to give up a game that we've played on for so long. Uh, this game here, FS-19, I've probably got every bit, every bit of uh, 2,500 hours playing this game. So I don't intend to just give it up. Yes, we are going to play FS-22. And you'll start seeing some content come out from me on FS-22. But I, I will also do FS-19. So, anyway, we're going to let this guy finish this field. We'll get them all emptied out. And get them started over into the other field. We've got these guys started in the second field here. And looks like they're all on track. So we'll stay with this lead harvester until he makes his turn up here to make sure he's going to play nice. Uh, we don't need no collisions or, or what have you. We, we don't need none of that. So we'll stay with him and let him make his first turn up here. If he makes his turn right, then the rest of them should make theirs right. So we'll just find out when we get there. All right, we've got the other guys started in the harvesters over on the, the other field. I think we'll pull in here and we'll fuel up before we get started. There we go. We're fueling up. All right, $220 worth of fuel. Okay, <laughs> the harvesters took more than that. So we'll wait for our number one harvester to get down here and we'll start emptying them out. They're on their way. Getting these harvesters out. This field is about half the size of the other one, so it won't take no time at all. We'll have this one done. So we'll just get on with it, and get it done. If we get this field done. We'll call it a. We'll call it a video. So. We'll get her done, because I know you guys are are uh, probably wanting to get some dinner. I know these, these helpers are. These guys driving these combines, they put in a hard day. So we'll just let them get to it. All right. 
we're getting right across this field. We're probably reaching about the halfway point. So I think what we'll do is I think we'll just go through a little bit of a time lapse. Uh, and watch these harvesters work. So that's what we'll do. getting across this field. Harvesters has really run good today. Everything is just looking mighty fine. We've made a lot of progress. We have got one of the food groups for our pigs. So when our pig pen or our hog pen is ready, uh, we're going to be able to provide food for them. So I think I'm going to call this a video and uh, tomorrow we'll plant. We've got uh, three or four fields to plant. So until then, it's the Dirt Road Farmer. And we will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.